Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing today? Gary's got some build for me that he's going to be working on in our kitchen to give us some more counter space and just make this area a lot more livable. So you can see right now we got it all pretty cleaned up from all the tools that we've been using lately. And uh, we got to start actually doing a little bit of demolition before we could start the build. So... Yep, I got to remove the sink and the stove and... It's going to be fun, so come along with us today. we got a lot to do, and hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have some more countertops. Let's do it. Alright, so this right here was my old countertop back in Boulder City when we lived out there. This is a very small little place. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. In the bathroom, you could like take a dump and brush your teeth at the same time because you're right there in front of the, <laughs> of the sink. It's like pretty much the same size as the bathroom in my RV. So I made this for Melanie about, shoot, almost eight years ago now. And this was our countertop back there. I want to reuse this countertop that we made back in uh, for Boulder City in the trailer so I can bring a little bit more of uh, some membranes and everything else. So I'm going to cut this thing up and use this for the pop-out shelves and everything like that. So. this out. I just turned off the propane, turned off the power, opened up the water as well as unplugged all the pump stuff. All the power's off, water's off. We're gonna have this thing leaking all over me, I hope. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go around this thing. Around the sink. I'm not really too worried about hurting the linoleum. Turn around it. Now I gotta go underneath, unscrew all of the fun piping and all that, and then I got to unscrew the actual sink from the countertop. So, gotta get underneath it. It really doesn't take much for these things to break. It's plastic, so you gotta be careful. So I've got my pipe. Fixed. Now I gotta get these ones, these ones back here. For the faucets, those ones are a pain in the butt. For the, for the faucet, it might be a little bit tighter. It all just depends. I always tighten them. And I took get this. Grab these. Personally, I've never removed a sink. So this is gonna be a trace. Channel in there that won't let me go that way. Come out. Wiggle, 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 yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I got it out. <laughs> Alright, so before you are able to remove a sink, you have to get off these little doohickey things. And basically what this guy does is it clamps it to the actual countertop and seals it so there's no water getting in and underneath it. But it's a pain in the butt. All it is is a flathead, all right? There's quite a bit. So I'm gonna set these aside. Basically what I did was I pushed up a little bit and then I went around and I pried around. So now I should be able to pick it straight on up out of here. So let's see. All right, more of that gunk goo stuff. Yay. Yay. There's the hole. 
over and let's set that guy down right here. Let it be. So now all this stuff gets to come right off. Come off, off. yay! Let's see if I can get in there. With this guy. Came off easily enough. wasn't even attached at all. Attached. I was like sitting on the corner. <laughs> Damn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting on the corner, huh? Better than sitting on a toilet. <laughs> sitting on a toilet. <laughs> sitting on a toilet. No flush. <laughs> Anybody? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you know you remember that. Oh, I remember that. Alright, so now that I've got the sink teared out, I gotta come over here and tear out this stove. So, first things first, I gotta pick this thing up, get this thing out of here, turn out my way. Hopefully, it'll come out. Alright, so there's one part. Next, this fitting. This is the propane fitting right here. Get that thing. Should be gonna let out some propane. I've turned off the propane, but don't light a match. Don't light a match, don't light anything. need to get these bottom for my windows taken off. All right, so I've got the sink out, I've got the stove out. We're gonna actually resurface the counter as well as we're gonna put a new backsplash Why I took out all those wiring right there. So I gotta get all this stuff off. I've gotta sand this, prep it, everything. We're gonna redo all of the counter space as well as add more counter space. So first things first, ripping this guy. <laughs> that was so hard, oh my God. Oh man. Okay. There you go. This won't stop bleeding.
Alrighty, you guys, now we're ready to try to install this new countertop. It is a like self-laminate countertop. I bought it off of Amazon. It had really great reviews. It's by a company called La Cherry. I will link down in the description below where you guys can check it out if you guys want to. We're not affiliated. I'm just sharing the information just so if you guys want to know where we got it, you guys can go and get some for yourself. But it looks really pretty, had wonderful reviews. I love the outcome. So we're gonna try it here in this trailer and hopefully the countertops and this area and stuff will get a whole new look. Yep, so let's get it done. Let's try it, let's I wanna, do it. I wanna get the sink and everything back in today. So I know, I wanna, I do too. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. You gotta be careful with it. Yep, and it says Not that it's a wrinkle. two person install. So, okay, so do the best this you is... can. So a really nice thing about this seam paper is that on the back end it has a bunch of lines so you can cut a straight line and uh, not mess up. It's pretty nice. you guys while well, our faux countertops are installed I think it looks really good if I don't say so myself and uh, now it's time for Gary to do the backsplash with me as well as he's gonna install a piece of wood right there in the oven hole before well we put the oven right here yeah and right one right here too before we put the oven and the sink back in so we're gonna go ahead and handle that and uh, keep on working let's get her going man let's it's getting there it's looking so much better, guys. I think you guys can maybe see the vision on what we were thinking. Um, and the reason, the main reason, honestly, why I wanted to do this is because of the the countertop additions that we're going to do, as well as like the flow for this little corner area. It just looks a lot better to me, and it just makes it feel a lot more complete. And it was cheap enough; it really wasn't very expensive at all. So, for the uh, the little extra cost, it's just going to make it feel that much more homey. Yep. So now, these tiles that we got right here for the backsplash, I did some reviews um, on Amazon and we ended up going with a company called Tic Tac Tiles. A lot of people have used this company before and had really great reviews. It's definitely suggested for like RVs and fifth wheels and stuff. They're extremely thin, like we were really surprised with how thin they are. It's almost like just another piece of laminate, a really thin <laughs> laminate. But they're kind of bubbled, so they have like a 3D effect on them. But the reason why they're suggested is because of how light and versatile they are. So we decided we wanted to go with these. So now we're going to install these, uh, the backsplash tiles. Yep, so let's get her squared away. All right, 
right, so I cut out my back bracing for my hinges that I'm gonna put in, because if I put it in this guy, it ain't gonna do anything. This is just eighth inch wood. So <laughs> I've gotta give it some sort of support. So I'm gonna get this guy slid in there, attach it, do the same thing over there where I'm gonna attach another corner nutch slash counter. <laughs> but we're gonna get it all in there. I'm really excited. It's coming together really nice. It looks beautiful. So Absolutely. Let's get this thing done. Awesome. So before I get anything else going, I'm going to install the electric first. I got you. Get that side in. Yeah, that's nice and tight. We gotta clean all this putty off and then re-putty it and then we can put it back. It is time to install the sink. There now, I'm gonna tighten up all the thing, fittings first before I screw everything in. I think that'll make it a little easier. So I got these hinges for our pop-up actual countertops. So what they do is they pop up and they lock with this little guy. So once you want it down, you push that latch and it'll pop back down. So what I gotta do, I had to get the right spot and everything to where I can mount it. And like you guys saw, I put that wood in there. So. One screw in for right now. Let's get this bottom. Really makes me appreciate how many of the animals in the house. Okay, I've got this and side done. Awesome creature power Except discs. for the board. So I'm gonna go install the other side first. And then we'll be able to get this thing in. All right. So we got that other counter in now too. So now we gotta get this guy on there. Yep. And that'll be it.
right, so here's our new and improved kitchen with backsplash and new countertops. Fold up, fold down. Still got some caulking to do and whatnot, but it's getting there, man. It's looking really good. super nice because now when I need to do some prep work or whatever I have this kit table counter and when I don't and I don't want it in my way out. out of our way yep same thing on the other side counter prep space area out of the way that's nice that adds so much more room. Yeah. I mean, like, there's literally no counter space whatsoever. No, not really. There's like it's this. That and little tiny lip. You'd have to have a cutting board in here to be able mm -hmm. to use this. Or have to have something on top of this to use this. But if you're cooking, and then you have these full, and you're trying to use the sink, it just kind of... Almost defeats yeah. the purpose. I look better? Eh, a little. It's hard to see it. The sun is setting. So it's getting dark. We're trying. But you guys get the gist of it. We'll show you guys again in the morning time with the sunlight. But that's just so easy, guys. One hand. Check that out. Ready? No counter? Counter. Counter. <laughs> ba bum! <laughs> Pretty nice. And then, yes, we do have to do some paint now. Um, there's like little things. Me and Gary want to put a thing around the lip right here just to kind of tie it all in or whatever, but little things, little things. And I, of course I got to paint all in here, but yep. it's coming together, guys. I love it. I've been needing this and wanting this forever. Now it's almost like a regular size kitchen, almost like an apartment size kitchen. So apartment size, definitely apartment size. Yeah. But hey, you can work with an apartment size. It's pretty cool. I like it. Man, this area looks so good. I love it, man. I can't get over it. I love it. It's so freaking nice. It's all coming together, man. It is. It's all coming together. Apartment size kitchen and a trailer. I like it. It's so cool. Man, oh man. <laughs> we did it guys. We got the kitchen pretty much remodeled. There's a couple little things that we need to finish doing. I have a lot more paint. I didn't even do any painting today. So I'm going to save the painting for this weekend, the extra sanding and all that. but. That's all the little tedious stuff. It looks so beautiful. It looks so great. Gary, you freaking rock on. Take my take work. what I want in my head. I tell you I want it like this. And then poof, here it is. And I really think it's so awesome too that we're reusing those countertops from the duplex. Yep. That's those, freaking uh, awesome. Those things are super sentimental. I mean, it's one of those things that she's like, hey, I want this and I made it. Yeah, I mean, he made it work in the duplex in that small twice. little thing. So now, twice in a small little space, they use the same counters. That's awesome, babe. Thank you so much. Same, I really, same really aspect, too. Kitchen. I know. It's, and it's, counter space. <laughs> <laughs> Reuse the old wood from the old counter to the new counter in the trailer. Yep. And now they got a nice cover on them and stuff. They look really pretty. So applying the countertop linoleum actually wasn't that hard for me to do it. I just kind of used my palm. You, you can use a squeegee or some other tools or whatever, but I just 
use my hands. But she it, uh, she definitely was magic with it because <laughs> there's no bubbles, no nothing on it, and she got it to work in perfectly. Just gotta rub it in there, man. Just gotta rub it right <laughs> in there. So I, w I like, really like the countertop adhesive. I definitely suggest it. I'll have to let you guys know how long it holds up and how it holds up to the kids and stuff like that. Um, we probably will not be putting hot things on those countertop. We'll have to use coasters. Um, things of that nature or just throw a cutting board down if I want to use the crock pot or something but it was so affordable and we got that whole kitchen area done very very inexpensive and I think it looks beautiful it came together really nice now the backsplash on the other hand the tic-tac tiles those were a little bit more difficult to install like actually like the initial first two tiles because we kind of just we're guessing it had two, two different instructions on how to do it. The website said one thing and then what came in the box said another. So we kind of had to figure it out and we did figure it out, but we did waste three tiles in, yep. in the figuring it out. So go by what the box says. Yeah. Don't go by what the website says on Amazon. They gave you the wrong instructions. <laughs> Just letting you know, but they were also very affordable and it completely changed the look of this trailer's kitchen. It just looks awesome. So thank you guys so much for coming along and watching this. If you guys like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. If you guys haven't yet, definitely subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. I don't know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll definitely see you guys on the next one because we've got a lot of these kind of things coming up and we got a lot to do still to get out to Arkansas. So. All right, you guys, we want to thank you again so, so much for all of your guys' love and support. And I wanted to put it out there and ask you guys if you guys have received one of the Simple Life Reclaimed t-shirts from us or one of our stickers, if you guys could and would like to send us your selfie, you guys can do so in the email description and below, or you can send it to us on our Instagram handle, just at Simple Life Reclaimed. What I'm going to do with all these selfies is I'm going to put you guys in next Monday's video. So you guys have plenty of time to go ahead and send them over to me. You guys got until Sunday. I would love to put your guys' smile and happy faces in one of our videos come Monday, so look out for that. And again, we thank you guys so, so much for your support, your guys' kindness, and for coming along for the journey with us. We really, truly appreciate you. Yep, and until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. We hope you have a good one. Later. Bye, you guys.